let us define few terms in ray optics like uh, radius of curvature, pole, focus, principal axis. So let us uh, see what are these terms used frequently in uh, ray optics. The terms that we are using First of all, we have to understand that if I take a sphere, I take a sphere and I cut at any part, if it is a hollow sphere, then I remove the part and put it here just like so this part this point is a a and this point is b so i cut like that so that this becomes a and this becomes b okay this will be something like this so this part is a, is the concave side and this is the convex side now <clears throat> A spherical mirror which is a concave or convex is a mirror which is a part of the sphere is a part of a sphere spherical mirror is a part of a sphere from which uh, it is cut and uh, because it is a sphere that must be some uh, center sphere is a center so that must be a center suppose the center is C if I join uh, this point with any point on the uh, circumference or in case of a sphere you call any point on the surface like this then this distance is called the radius of the sphere. Now because I have cut this part of the sphere and separated it out like this so therefore this is not a sphere now this is a part of the sphere and because it is a part of the sphere or is a curvature now it is a curvature then earlier the point C which was the center of the sphere is now that same point C will act as the center of this curvature because for this curvature also this is the center so therefore, this is known as the center of curvature. So what is the center of curvature? Center of curvature is a is the center of a sphere, the center of a sphere of which this mirror is a part. And we also know that if I this uh, is also the normal if you have a line which passes to the center and uh, it uh, passes to any point on the surface then that line is the normal to that point at that surface at that point and uh, if I draw a tangent to that point this is the tangent and this is a number. So that means if uh, I have a sphere and from the center if I take out any line from the center to any point and this is a normal. So I can I can take the that in any direction. So this is the normal. This radius is obviously the normal. Now I have to define what is the radius of curvature. what is the radius of curvature. Now this is the radius of the sphere and that will be the radius of curvature. 
So radius of curvature of this mirror is same as the radius of the sphere because this portion is cut from the sphere. So therefore, the radius of curvature of a mirror is the radius of a sphere from which it is made. Okay, it is denoted as capital R. This will be denoted as capital C. Now, what is a principal axis and what is a focus? Now, let us understand that also. As you can see, it is a concave mirror, and uh, this line is a special line. This point is called the P point. P stands for pole, and uh, this point C here, or center of curvature. The a line passing through the center of curvature that we have already defined and the pole is called as the principal axis. So the line passing through the central curvature and the pole of the mirror is called as principal axis. Now, what is a pole? Pole is the point which is uh, symmetrical uh, to the mirror. That means uh, it is the midpoint of the uh, geometrical mean or midpoint of uh, the mirror. It is the geometrical center. Now, it is the geometrical center of the mirror under considerations. If I have a mirror or something like this, then this is the geometrical center. So, this will be the pole. If I have a mirror like this, then symmetrically this point might be this point is the pole. So, whichever is the geometrical center that is called the pole. Next is uh, what is a <coughs> focus of uh, the mirror? What is the focus of the mirror? Now, suppose that this is a mirror. I <coughs> this is the line which is passing through the pole and the center of curvature. This is obviously the principal the principal axis. Eh? This is principal axis. And uh, what is the focus is uh, focus is the midpoint of these two points. So midpoint. This is the focus. This is the midpoint of uh, this uh, center of uh, curvature and the uh, pole. Now if uh, in another word any ray coming parallel to principal axis and near to the principal axis not it should not be very far from the principal axis it should be very near to the principal axis any ray coming parallel or all the rays coming parallel to the principal axis after finding the mirror passes through a point like that that point must be focus all the rays if i draw another 
ray like this dark ray also because this is parallel to principal axis so this must also pass through the same point all the parallel rays after reflection must pass through a common point known as focus so this will also pass through the same point if i take another ray from here this side this will also pass like that so that is known as the focus that means focus is a point on the point on the principal axis of mirror where light coming parallel to it parallel to it means principal axis here it means so rays coming parallel but may not be parallel to principal axis but they can be parallel to each other so if uh, i think of this situation The rays are parallel but not parallel to the principal axis. Something like that. This happens. Then what will happen? If I have a situation like this, the rays are parallel. Rays are parallel. But not uh, parallel to the principal axis. then they must pass through a common point again they have to pass through a common point again but that point should not lie on the axis of the mirror something like this will happen something like this will happen so the lie in the principle not uh, lie on this point but on this plane 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 that is formed the line uh, i can draw a line or a plane which is perpendicular to the plane which is perpendicular to the principal axis and passing to the focus so this point lies on the plane focal plane this is known as focal plane so the rays are parallel here also but not uh, the focus point is not on the principal axis or on the focus but on the plane focal plane of the mirror next uh, so in terms of uh, distances uh, we also know that this distance cp is the radius of curvature this uh, fp is the focal length This point C is the center of curvature, this point F is called the focus, this point P is called the pole. So distance between the center of curvature and pole is called the radius of curvature. The distance between the focus and the pole is called the focal length. And these two are equal. This distance and this distance are same. So that means uh, R equals to twice the value of F or F is R by 2. That will derive also afterwards. So we have almost defined the terms that are used and uh, similarly if an object is placed over here in front of the in front of the mirror then uh, this is the object 
and the distance of uh, this object from is always measured from the pole of the mirror. So this OP is known as the object distance. Similarly, if the image is formed somewhere here, suppose somewhere here, then uh, that uh, is known as the image distance. This is the image distance. This is the object distance. This is u. This is v. Object distance is measured in u, and uh, this is uh, symbolized as v. So these are the terms used. Now let us uh, in the next video we'll define or discuss about the uh, sign conventions. Okay. Thank you.